Yeah, so look, I, I am not even going to attempt to, uh, to summarise that. I think we've had a, a long day, but I think a very interesting and thought-provoking and stimulating day. And I think this afternoon's session um, highlighted to us, you know, the huge array, really, of very valuable work that is going on that is, is funded by the, the Commission through the Horizon programmes. And um, I think, as Jan Charles said, that is about 10% of the public investment in R&D. And, you know, public investment complements the, the private investment in R&D. So there's, there's um, I guess, a huge body of work being done in relation to, um, to research related to livestock production systems. And, um, and I think, you know, we heard from Wolfgang this morning the, the challenge that he as a senior policymaker has in relation to having available to him, uh, you know, synthesis of the impacts of, of, of all that research. So look, it kind of illustrates the, the, the big challenge, like research is, it's not like a, a factory, you know, where you, you organize a supply chain and you organize a, a production process and things come out at the end of it that are very structured. You know, research is a kind of a very organic, incremental um, uh, 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 in, in, in endeavor. And to make that work properly then, given the kind of chaos that that, that, that sort of a system you know, w works on, or that basis of lots of individuals doing, doing their own thing, or lots of groups doing their own thing. In order to make that kind of a system work, it's really important that you have some sort of a vision of, 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 of the system, and the, the overall parameters within which a system should work, and where we think that system is going to evolve to. And I think that's why it's really important that, you know, we, we have, I suppose, a vision from the EU in terms of the farm to fork, strategy as to how the agricultural system in Europe will develop over the coming years. But I think it's, it also shows the importance maybe of the, the work that the Animal Task Force does, and, and indeed complemented by, by others, like by other representative organisations, in setting out you know, a vision for the livestock industry and a vision for its research needs. And it's not to say that you know, each line of the vision then translates into a, a research project, but it sets maybe the, the parameters or the guide rails within which research can be conducted. That is going to come back and, and help in terms of the achievement of, of that vision or, or move the system towards that vision. And I think it's very clear from what we've heard today that the, the livestock production system, it, it needs to transition to a more sustainable system. I think it's equally clear that um, a food system without livestock is not going to be a sustainable food system. So there's a, there's a happy medium in there where livestock systems need to move towards this more sustainable uh, system. That's the transition that we're about. And look, I think um, we've had a very useful, as I said, discussion around that today. We've had a very useful exposition now of a number of projects that are moving that way. And for me, it reinforces the value that an organization like Animal Task Force can bring to the overall endeavors of the research community and indeed policymakers and the stakeholders or the actors in terms of trying to achieve that transition. So I leave it with that um, for now and thank you all very much for your participation, those of you that are here in the room and those of you that have stayed online with us and I hope that you have got something uh, out of the day as well. So I think now we're going to go for, um, at least those of us that are physically here, we're going to go for a small uh, break and a little reception. And I'm certainly looking forward to that after a hard day's mental work, at least anyway. So thank you very much, everybody.